Now at 11, a South Florida teacher arrested, accused of forcing a child to clean out a urinal, and that child ended up getting urine all over his hands. CBS 4's Kerry Kyle joins us live outside the Broward County Jail with this disturbing story. Kerry, what happened here? Well, Cynthia, first of all, I just checked the Broward County Jail app. It shows this teacher, Jennifer Forche, remains locked up here in the Broward County Jail behind me. I spoke to jail officials a short time ago. They told me she will likely be released sometime early in the morning because she has posted a bond. But, Cynthia, the allegations against this teacher are simply disgusting. Teacher Jennifer Forche is accused of forcing a 10-year-old student to clean a clogged urinal with his bare hands. According to the school's website, Forche is a third grade teacher at Broward Community Charter School West in Coral Springs. Police say the student told investigators that Forche accused him of clogging the urinal with paper towels, then ordered him to remove the clog without providing him any kind of safety equipment. According to the police report, the victim's hands were saturated in what smelled like urine from the urinal and the paper towel that was in the urinal. The student also told police that there was no soap in the bathroom to wash his hands with afterwards. Coral Springs police say they arrested Forche on Wednesday, and a police report says she told detectives that she only thinks what she did was wrong because she's in trouble for it. Otherwise, she does not see anything wrong with exposing a child to urine. But police do, and the charge of battery on a child by exposing them to urine is a felony. Forche's husband had little to say outside the Broward County Jail. If I had something to tell you, I'd tell you. I don't have anything. So just give me a break. Police say Jennifer Forche admitted not giving the boy any type of equipment or instruction to clean out the urinal. Investigators also say another teacher witnessed the episode. We reached out to the owners of the school as well as the board members at the school. We were told they would not comment on these allegations. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.